Hello, we'd like to welcome you to our digital classroom. I'm Jerry Winslet, along with Kevin Binkley. Hello. And today we're going to be talking about the XP water heater, and actually we're going to talk about end-user training, uh, how to navigate the control. Um, the first thing we want to talk about is, you know, the first part of the training we're going to talk about is, is how do we set the temperature? That's the first thing we want to get into. Sure. What you're going to want to do is you see the lead lag master button right there. Well, actually, not button because this is touch screen. Right. You're going to touch <laughs> that. That well, could be a button. And then up in the upper right-hand corner, you have that set point box. Okay. You want to click on that. And now it's going to give you the option of going up or down. So what you would do at that point is you would set it to your desired set point. Let's say we wanted 180. I'm going to go to the arrows, the up and down arrows. And once we get to 180, we're going to press the OK button. And now we are set at 180 degrees. And to get back to your home screen, if you look in the, in the upper left-hand corner here, you see the little home icon. All you have to do is press home, and then you'll be where you need to be. Okay, so that, that's pretty easy. Now, since we know how to set the temperature, we also have to know when to kick the, the unit on, when to kick it off. So uh, let's go on and try to set the differential on it now. Sure. You're going to go back to your lead lag master in the mm -hmm. center. You're going to press that. All right. And then you're going to press the configure icon right there. Right there on the left, right? Yep. All right. And then over in the bottom right-hand corner, you have the advanced settings. You're going to press that button. And then here's the weird thing. We've always called it differential in-house. Right. We actually bought this control package from Honeywell, and their terminology for differential is hysteresis. Hysteresis. So what <laughs> okay. you would do to change the actual uh, differential or hysteresis, you're going to press the box right here. So let's, and let's say you wanted it to be at 10. Okay, so that's, it has to drop 10 degrees in order for it to kick on. That's right. You're going to press the up and down arrows, mm -hmm. all right, to change it. So let's change it to 10 click OK, and change them both. Okay. Let's go. And then click OK, and then you're done setting the differential. At that point, you want to press your home icon, and that'll Just take you back to the beginning. Go back to the main menu. All right. And, you know, this is for maintenance purposes as well, you know, for the end user training. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the, the, the things that they really need to know about is how do we get into the history and, and check the history on the unit. Sure, like if you want to know the error history, what you're going to do is you're going to have to do this for each burner, but the okay. process is the same. You so this unit particularly has two burners, but we make them up to four? That's correct. So if you have a four burner unit, you would have to go in and do this for all four burners. Okay. What you would actually see is four of these burner icons on the actual screen. Okay. So you press right here on the burner. Mm -hmm. All right. And then what you're going to do is you're going to click on details over here in the bottom right hand corner. All right, and you see history right there in the center. You're going to press the history button. All right, and then what you want to do right there in the center, you see lockouts. Okay. You want to press lockouts. Now, these all say ILK off. <laughs> what that means is something in the low, volt, low voltage control circuit, the 24 volt control string, has locked out. Mm -hmm. The reason you see this on this particular water heater is because we have the gas on a timer. Okay, uh, yeah, and, so you, you know, see a lot of those. So, you know, when we, uh, you know, it times out after an hour or so, you know, we've been doing training for some guys here, you know, in the lab, you know, and we walk out and the timer times out, it's going to time out on low gas. So that's the reason So these you are see. the actual lockouts here. That's right. And you can, if you see the up and down right. uh, icon, you can scroll up and down and view every single one of them. Okay. Now, and, the, the screen before that, that was an actual alert, correct? Well, actually, right here is your alerts, and okay. yes, it's gonna yeah. it's gonna take you back to that screen, and basically all that means is, hey, I'm seeing something that you know I don't like right. or I don't think is right, but it's not you know it's not a game changer. It's not gonna shut down. It's gonna continue to operate. Okay. All right. And then all you're gonna have to do is again when you're done is press the home home icon, it takes you right back to the beginning. Okay. Another thing that's that's really good for maintenance. 
um, would be, you know, because you want to be putting some of these on a maintenance schedule, mm -hmm. uh, would be the cycle time. And, and how do we get to the cycle time? I'm assuming you'd have to do it for each burner, correct? That is correct. You would have to do it for each burner because it's going to rotate the burner right. up as far as, as, far as the, uh, the uh, cycle time. But you would press on that burner. All right. And then what you're going to do is you're going to have to push the configuration or okay. config right here. And then right here you see statistics, statistics configuration. Statistics. Yes. Got it. You're going to press that. And that's going to give you your actual burner cycles, your run time, you, you know, pump information. So that way you, if you wanted to put it on, on a schedule for that's every, it, you yeah. know, every 500 cycles you want to come in and, you know, delime it or, or right. whatever, you know, you could do that and you could easily access that information. And once you've done it for each burner and gathered that information, mm -hmm. You're going to press the home button again. Okay. Yeah, that's very good information uh, to put it on a maintenance schedule if you're if you're doing uh, maintenance on the water heater. It's good to know how to get to the history and the cycle. Uh, one of the things that we did want to cover in this this class is um, the enable disable. Now, it looks like an on off switch, but it's not. That's correct. Enable disable. If it's enabled, obviously that's when the unit's going to come on. It's going to run right. if, if there's a call for heat. If you're in disable, the unit will not run, but everything is still powered up. Okay. Okay. Even though it looks like an on-off switch, you know, if, if, if this display is up, it's got power to everything. Uh, the fans can actually will still come on the whole. In disable. Yes, in disable. Okay. They can come on. So what you're going to want to do to, to actually turn power off to this unit is it's actually in the back. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to come around to the back. And that's how you actually turn the power completely off to the unit.